always a little noisy in here. But we'll see how it works. Right now, there went one of my noises. That's good. You can see I'm pulling in. Well, it was 950. Clouds are rolling in and out today, which is normal. This is the Victron 150 slash 70. It actually does pretty good. It's new in the stall. Really wanted something to where I only had one controller and the ability to upgrade if I wanted to later. So, kick that in. Run this little vid, show you what it's playing or charging and all that stuff. And welcome to my little solar powered office. Still a work in progress. But got AC running. 43 inch TVs on. Laptops on, getting charged. Of course, got a desktop over there. Don't have it on right now. Don't need it. Right now, it looks like batteries are 98%. Like I said, those things are running in the background, refrigerator, Wi-Fi connections, telephones, all the normal. Like I said, still work in progress. I haven't really finished that wall because I want to make sure I got everything in I need before I put the panels up. Can walk outside here and show you what to power sources. As you can see in here, the air conditioner is running. I have an eco-worthy solar tracker installed. Right now, it's not even pointed to the optimum location for the sun. Uh, it's still morning time here. Barely 11 o'clock. But... There's 1,200 watts of panels up there. They are the 200 watt Bouge RV 9BB solar panels. They're wired in series. Wait on this car to go by. Seems to be never ending anymore. So much traffic you can't walk outside and hear yourself think. Used to have to walk to town the whole way because there wouldn't be nobody around. <coughs> there you got to see in here it just adjusted a little bit. You can tell by the shadows it's doing a pretty good job. Like I say, 200 watts. I mean 1200 watts. Granted, the charge controller 70 amp. It's only good for a thousand watts, but it's over a little bit for the cloudy days and winter time and all that. Screw around here. You see, the wind's blowing, wind sensors doing its job. Ow. Definitely blowing up, I hit my head. But as you can see, the controller for the whole setup. I took that tin plate that come with it. I guess it's so you can use it down here on the base to drill your bolt holes to have the pattern. 
didn't need to use it for that, so I used it to hook the controller up in the proper position. Did not like it sideways with the wires hanging off to the side, so I changed it that way. You probably noticed there's no battery out here. I just simply ran a extra line out here when I ran the cables for the panels so I can power it up from the battery inside. There's no reason to have two batteries when I already got this power source this close to the office and it works. As you can see I haven't had this in very long but so far I'm liking it. One sensor definitely works. I've had to kick to the side. Guess I could walk up here and show you why a tracker is so important for me. One, obviously I don't want my yard filled with solar panels. Them panels back there power lights and stuff for the garage. But the sun comes out and the V of the ridge line back there and it follows the ridge line right up through there's the sun comes on out and then eventually it ends up over in this big wide area this is what the biggest part of the day is for solar capture around here and I used to only point that way but now it's almost 11 o'clock my batteries are down to 60 some percent and as you saw They'll be charged in the next few minutes. Just a little rundown. Yes, I can walk up here. And I keep calling it the office. But that's actually what it is. It is a bonds office. The bell bondsman by trade. Y'all have a great day. system. As you can see, it finally went into absorption. I was right. What time is it? 12 o'clock. Batteries was at 60%. Got fully charged before noon. Tickles me. So we'll scroll over here to the history. Looks like the most I've got today. 989 watts. Yesterday was over a thousand before 925, day before that 1040. So, like I said, the controller stops it down around a thousand watts since it's only a 12 volt system. I've already pulled in three kilowatt hours. Yesterday got almost five and a half, almost six, the day before that, five. So, real easy pulling in since I only have five kilowatt battery storage uh, panels definitely obviously fill it up every day which is what i wanted so it's working right now shows it's only pulling 130 watts that's because it's throttled back Let's see if we can make it kick up here Can't that on make it fly up. There's power on the desktop. That'd be some more quick power. Fans the only thing running on the AC yet. There she's starting to work a little bit. I heard a Compressor kicked on on the air conditioner. So it definitely pulls in the power I need. Everything now is just powered by the sun the rest of the day. Tickles me. Anyway, that was just a short little rundown. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Talk to y'all later.